In this example, I'm going to show you how you can use software to calculate probabilities for a Poisson random variable. In this example, the number of automobile accidents on a busy toll bridge in a month is modeled by a Poisson distribution. The average number of accidents per month is 6. So because we know that the average is equal to lambda, it is our parameter, lambda will be equal to 6. That means that our probability mass function will be equal to 6 to the x e to the negative 6 all over x factorial. Okay, so now we can easily calculate probabilities. So the first question asks, what is the probability that 8 accidents occur in a month? That means what is the probability that x is exactly equal to 8? Well, this is simply equal to 6 to the 8th e to the negative 6 over 8 factorial. Okay, and we can we could easily calculate this using just a simple calculator. So this is equal to 0 0.1033. So that means that the likelihood that exactly eight accidents occur in a month is about 10%. And so if we wanna move on though to the next couple of problems, it's going to get a little more tedious to calculate. So let's go ahead and just set up the probability expressions for B, C, and D. So what is the probability eight or fewer accidents occur in the month? Well, this is equal to the probability that X is less than or equal to eight. So this is also the definition of the cumulative distribution function, right? Everything that falls below a specific value. So this is then equal to the sum that probability of x is equal to 0 plus the probability of x equal to 1 plus all the way up to the probability that x is equal to 8. So we could add all these probabilities doing the same individual probabilities as we did for part A, except this is going to get pretty tedious. So let's just go ahead and leave this here and, and solve the probability expressions for C and D. So in C, it asks, what is the probability eight or more accidents occur in the month? Well, this is equal to the probability that X is greater than or equal to eight which if we want to write this in terms of the CDF, we can take its complement. So one minus the probability that X is less than eight. So that'll be its complement. But let's go ahead and write this as an expression that has the equality. So the same as the CDF. This will then be equal to one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 7. Now you can kind of stop and think about what this actually means. So if we want to know the values that are the probability that x is greater than or equal to 8, that means that would be 8, 9, 10, 11, all the way up to infinity. Well, what values from 0 to infinity aren't included in that? Well, that's 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 7. And so that's where we get this, where we can take um, the total area under the probability mass function and subtract off the stuff we don't want to get the stuff that we do want. Okay, so that's just kind of a little side note. And then what is the probability more than eight accidents occur in a month? All right, so this is the probability that X is greater than eight. All right, and so the complement to this is just going to be one minus the probability that X is less than or equal to eight. Right, so again, this is kind of the same logic as in C. The uh, if x is greater than eight, that means that it's nine, ten, eleven, all the way up to infinity. And so, what is not included in that is zero, one, two, all the way through eight. So, D happens to actually be just the complement of B. So, whatever we get in B, if we subtract it from one, we will get the probability for D. Okay, so let's go ahead and move over to R to where we can do this using software. Again, we could calculate these by hand. It would just be sort of tedious. So for the first question, let's go ahead and verify what we got. Um, here we're looking at 
the command D pois, so D P O I S, where D stands for just the probability mass function, the distribution, and pois stands for Poisson, the distribution that we're curious about, and eight will represent the uh, number of successes that we're curious about, and six is the lambda or the rate parameter. So if we run this line of code, we get 0.1032577, which sure enough is the same value that we got here, 0 0.1033. Okay, so if we come back to R, if we want to know the probability that the number of accidents is less than or equal to eight, then we can use the command P pos. This is the same as the probability of X less than or equal to eight. We put in eight as our X value, six as our lambda, run this line and we get 0.8472. So it's pretty likely that the number of accidents will be less than or equal to eight. All right, if we wanna know what the probability is that the accidents will be greater than or equal to eight, so eight, nine, 10, all the way up to infinity, then we can take the complement of, of the probability that X is less than or equal to seven. And so that's what this does, one minus P plus seven is then the x value that we're interested in and six again is still just the lambda rate parameter and this is equal to 0 0.2560202 so there's about a 25 percent chance that eight or more accidents will occur in one month all right and lastly what is the probability that more than eight accident accidents will occur in one month well again this will just be the complement of what we found up here and so if we put that in. Sure enough, it is exactly the complement of 0.8472. It is 0.1527. So that is the likelihood that more than eight accidents occur in one month. And this is how we can use RStudio to simplify the calculations for a Poisson random variable.